Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create flanged end Y strainer Revit family. And I will refer the data in the picture to create the parameter. This is lookup table, CSV file. Its data are referred from the manufacturer specifications. I will use this lookup table, CSV file, to create the parametric family. There are DN65 to DN600. I will use this formula for default do not found. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select pipe accessories for family category and select breaks into for part type. Set and select the class number. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D2. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 70 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 350 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 117 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for L2. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for B. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 3 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for F. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 14 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 229 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for H. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Create similar from intersection point to 45 degrees. Select the reference plane and mirror to opposite side. Select the reference plane and pin it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 229 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to H. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to B. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 90 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for D1. Select instance and click OK. 
select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to nominal diameter parameter. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select the dimension and add parameter for D3. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D3 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L2 parameter. Click apply and OK. Finish the sweep. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Edit profile in left view. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension. Select dimension and assign parameter to D3. Finish the sweep. Go to reference level. Join the geometry with each other. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to create. Select the revolve. Create similar and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to create. Select the revolve. Create similar and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for B1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for B1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 0.5 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Join the geometry with each other. Check in 3D view.
Go to Reference Level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 20 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 19 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select the dimension and assign parameter to B. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Create similar and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Offset 13 mm and create a line. Offset 0 mm and create a line. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert dimension and add parameter for P1. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add a new parameter for P. Select instance and click OK. Set 25 mm for P value as default. And click apply. Add formula for P1 parameter. Click apply and OK. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Check in 3D view. This is created bold head family which parameter controlled by lookup table. I will use and load this created family into this main family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created family into main family. Go to 3D view. Find the loaded family in project browser. Drag family and face to work plane. Select the family. Set 12 mm for bolt size value as default. Assign bolt size parameter to bolt size. Select instance and click OK. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 115 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw an ellipse. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert radius dimension. Select dimension and assign parameter to D2. Create a similar and lock to reference plane. Set the axis line and finish the revolve. Join the geometry with each other. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 70 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and assign parameter to L1. Go to create. Select the void revolve. Create similar and lock to reference plane.
set the axis line and finish the revolve. Cut the geometry with the void. Select the void and go to edit. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the editing. Go to family type. Click on manage lookup table. Import the CSV file. And click OK. Add a new parameter for lookup table. Select text for type and select other for group. Keep type and click OK. Add parameter value for lookup table. The value is CSV file name. Add formula for BS parameter. And click apply. Add formula for D parameter. And click apply. Add formula for D1 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for D2 parameter. And click apply. Add formula for H parameter. And click apply. Add formula for L parameter. And click apply. Add formula for P parameter. And click apply. Add formula for B parameter. And click apply. Add formula for F parameter. And click apply. Check and play the nominal diameter parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Edit visibility graphic override. Uncheck detail level for coarse and medium. Go to reference level. Go to create select model line. Draw the line and lock to the reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select model line. Edit visibility graphic override. Uncheck detail level for fine. Go to 3D view. Go to create. Select pipe connector and place on flange face. Select pipe connector and associate diameter parameter to nominal diameter. Select fitting for system classification. Save the family. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Check in 3D view. OK, flanged end Y strainer family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.